I'm super outgoing and I love school. I also love drawing and playing with my drum set. Unfortunately, I'm kind of an unlucky person though because I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, which is cancer of the bones. I had to have a surgery to get a mask removed off my leg and now I don't have enough energy to do the things that I love. My name is Marley and I'm six years old. Um, I'm in the first grade and I love to read. I also love animals. I help my family take care of a lot of the animals that we have at home. Like we have goats, uh, chickens, ducks, and even a donkey. Last year I started getting really bad headaches and my doctor told my mom that I'm very sick. I have acute lymphoplasty, acute lymphoplasty lymphomia, and um, I get chemo at St. Jude's Research Hospital a, a few times a month. Hi, my name is Mohammed. I'm five years old. I love playing outside and spending time with my family. Last Christmas, I was diagnosed with neuroblastoma, which means that the cancer is, attack is attacking my nervous system. I received treatment at St. Jude's Medical Research Hospital for chemotherapy and stem cell transplant. Hi, I'm Colton. I'm two years old. I love playing with trains with my older sister, Malia. I also love music. A few years ago, I was feeling headaches and I was taken to the hospital where doctors found a brain tumor and I've gone undergone many rounds of chemotherapy. Progress has been made in the pursuit to improve goodwill and charity within our nation to support cancer research. However, there's always room for more. That is why we are here to present our goals to get the Marist community to get more involved with St. Jude's up till dawn. <coughs> By participating in act fun activities all night for, during a fundraising event, because as the St. Jude saying goes, sleep can wait, tears can. A little bit of science. So. Everybody hears about cancer, but I don't know if everybody knows what cancer actually is. Cancer happens when a cell mutates and defo is, becomes deformed. This then spreads to other cells, which makes a huge lump, in, called, which is called a tumor. Although some tumors are, can be benign, most tumors are not, and they will spread all throughout the body. It can happen to anyone, anywhere, at any time, including kids. Everybody knows somebody with cancer. So right now, there are 10 females in this room. Unfortunately, three of us will have cancer in our lifetime. The odds of a female getting cancer is one in three. That's 33%. There are uh, eight males in this room right now. And in your lifetime, four of you will have cancer. It might be the brush of the arms. It might be something that changes your life. But one in every two males experiences <clears throat> some sort of cancer in their lifetime. That's 50%. That is a lot of us. It could be your mom or your dad. It could be your grandma or your aunt, your best friend since birth, your older sister or your little brother. Everybody look at the person sitting to your right right now. It could be them, the person sitting at the desk next to you in class right now. It could be me, standing in front of you presenting as this vicious disease attacks my body. It could be you. You could be the one in three or the one in two. So when we say the word cancer, uh, we usually think of a person or a story or an experience. We think of our connection to the disease because unfortunately we all have one. My connection to cancer is not beautiful or inspirational. It's not a happy story. It's really difficult and it's sad. Um, during my adolescent years, I had a variety of health problems and I was being treated at Maria Ferrer Children's Hospital, which is in Westchester, New York. And while I was there, I met someone named Chance Dolan. I was your typical teenager. I was selfish, I was sad, I was self-centered, and that all changed when I met him because I was suddenly around somebody who was so much sicker than me, yet he was so much less selfish and so much less sad. In my time with Chance, a lot of words were spoken around me. Words like fibroblastic osteosarcoma, which is cancer of the bones. Words like metastatic, meaning that the cancer was traveling and spreading around the body. Words like stage 4B, Cancer is typically stage one through four, one being the easiest to treat, four being the most difficult. It can also be staged by letters, A meaning that it's in one part of the body, B meaning that it's in multiple. So chances diagnosis was not good. And lastly, the word terminal, a word you never wanna hear, but a word that you are forced to acknowledge. Despite being around words like this all the time, all the time they're not the words that I remember. I remembered the words that Chance said, words like this great fight, which is what he called his battle against cancer. Words like a new day and tomorrow, 
always talking in the future despite how difficult each day was. And words like the next steps. Chance was always looking to move forward even when there weren't many steps left to take. So I got to know Chance over the last six months of his life. And let me tell you, they were not rainbows and butterflies. Chance had a lot of hard days. And I watched him grow smaller and I watched him get sicker and weaker. And the worse he got, the more he needed a friend. I knew since the day that I met Chance that he was not going to live a fair and full life. And the people around him, we just did as much as we could to pack as much happiness as we could into a very unfairly short period of time. If there's one thing that I could say about 15 year old, smart, funny Chance, it's that he was a force to be reckoned with until his very last day, which was on January 12, 2010. The thing about cancer is that you let go of materialistic things. Uh, me and Chance don't have a single photograph together. And that's because when someone is sick, you don't care about posting on social media. You don't care about documenting friendship or proving yourself to others. The only thing that matters is time and moments, not photographs. So I don't really have a photo to show you guys to sum up me and Chance's friendship and the things that we went through together and his amazing life. But what I can show you is how I coped with this as a photographer and an artist at 15 years old, losing a friend to cancer. So the first photo I'm gonna show you was taken on January 7, 2010, so it was five days before he passed away. Um, I posted it on my Flickr. It says, God only takes the best. My friend is dying of cancer. And I edited, edited it right after he passed away, which was actually taken from the top of my bathtub. So if you can visualize what it's like at 15 to lose a friend to cancer, I tried to kind of cope with that and pull it together in a photo. So again, posted almost six years ago. The second photo was taken a few days after Chance's memorial. And I actually posted it to my Tumblr in the clouds 